Well, hello and welcome to the far northwest of Italy, about 10 to 15 miles from the border with France. And I'm at a little waterfall called Langhetti di Rochetta, which is just above a little village of about 250 people, which is an absolutely beautiful, quintessentially Italian village nestled in a steep-sided valley. And this waterfall is about 20, 25 minutes walk up from the village. Um, quite an arduous trek, actually, particularly with about 16 kilos of camera gear on my back. Um, it's quite a warm evening. Um, certainly when you're used to UK temperatures, it was quite a challenge getting up here. But this is a beautiful spot. Um, we're on holiday here for a couple of weeks and uh, we've been swimming a couple of times down here in the uh, pool underneath this waterfall. And I thought it would make quite a nice composition for a Star Trails shot um, above it. Um, only really the top third of the frame is going to have star trails in it. The rest is this pool, the waterfall, the trees above. There's some lights up there actually as well, which I think maybe there's some campers or something up there. Um, and then um, a small section of sky above. But I think it'll make a really nice effect. I'm using the Canon 6D the Samyang 14mm. I'm shooting 20 second exposures at ISO 800 and f2.8 with a two second interval. Um, and I'm going to hope to get at least two hours worth of data with this, ideally three, but we'll see how the night progresses. And I've got a few other compositions uh, in mind going or oh, looking down the down the valley, sort of towards the south and uh, and southeast, uh, southwest, um, hopefully of the Milky Way. So um, thanks very much indeed for coming along. Um, I hope you're a little bit cooler than I am right now um, and possibly in a little while, I might have a little dip to cool off. Oh. Oh. Right. Now, the next shots I want are down the valley of the Milky Way above. And unfortunately, to get the best composition for that, I'm going to need to cross this river. And I know from experience earlier, these rocks are quite slippery. But I think there's no choice but to get my feet wet. So, let's give this a go. I think I might use my tripod as a bit of a walking stick on here as well. Oh. I could take my shoes off, of course, but I actually think having cold, wet feet on a hot night like tonight could be welcome. Um, and I'm probably a bit too lazy to do that. So here we go. It's definitely quite slippery. Okay. It's actually not too bad when you get going. All right. Let's go find that composition. This is probably what I'm after here. You probably can't see that from up there, but 
The valley cuts are really nice V-shaped. Um, the Milky Way is just about in the right position, probably a little bit too far to the right, but I think it'll be okay. We're going to need to probably do a three-shot Vertorama, I would have thought. But I think this could be quite a cool shot. Okay, so shooting this with the modified Canon 6D and the Sigma 24mm f1.4 art lens, um, I'm probably going to have to do a three frame Vertorama to get the full extent of what I'm after here. We'll see how it all goes. Okay, so for the foreground, I'm going to do two vertical shots and I'm going to experiment here with two minute exposures um, at ISO 6400 f1.4 and I'm just going to see how that turns out. I need to turn off this light though now. Okay, so that initial foreground shot is looking pretty good. I actually um, changed the F ratio to F2.8 rather than the F1.4 I started at. Histogram looks fine, shadow detail looks fine. A um, little bit of vignetting to be expected with a two minute exposure at F2.8. Um, so that's good. I'm gonna shift the camera up now for the second foreground shot. Okay, lights off and let's go. Okay, cool. So, um, pretty happy with those foreground shots. Um, what I'm not terribly happy with is the amount of space I've got here to do my sky shots. This canyon is very steep sided and um, I can't actually see Polaris from here either to line up the Star Tracker so I'm going to do something I don't normally do all in aid of getting a better picture which is I'm going to take my sky shots from a slightly different location just on the other side of here on a hilltop I can get to where I'll get a very clear and obstructed view of the sky and I think overall that'll make a better shot. I'm also going to play slightly, and I do mean slightly, fast and loose with where the Milky Way lines up here. Um, ideally, I'd get about another 50 yards down into the, uh, the canyon down that way, or the, 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 yeah, the canyon, whatever this is called, valley, gully. Um, but at this time of night, and with these boulders, being quite slippery I think that's just a little bit dangerous so I'm not going to do that but I am going to arrange the Milky Way when I composite these images together in the way that it would be just another 50 yards down the canyon there which will be facing slightly more south southwest than this view which is more sort of south south east so not something I usually do hopefully you'll forgive me I think it'll make a better image over all but I'll definitely need to get out of this canyon in order to do the sky shots well. Awesome. I think that's all I'm going to do on this shot today um, other than going elsewhere to take um, a tracked sky shot. So I think while I wait another 45 minutes or an hour for the star trails to finish I might pack this up and go and cool off with a bit of a swim.
what a night. What incredible fun. Um, I'm going to go and stop the Star Trails images very shortly. I've got probably just over two hours of data there, so that's more than enough to get hopefully a decent image. I may also retake the foreground image for the Star Trails as well because um, rather usefully the lights which were on above this um, waterfall earlier have now gone off. So the people who are camping there or whatever have obviously now uh, switched off those lights. So rather than risking blowing things out, I might take another exposure um, just so everything's just very natural there in the foreground. Um, I'm going to head off from here very shortly uh, and head up to a hillside just to take the track sky shots for uh, the Milky Way looking down the gorge uh, over there. I won't take you along for that bit. You, you know the setup. Um, move, shoot, move, nomad. 24 millimeters at f2.8 iso 800 and either 60 90 or 120 seconds of exposure depending on the sky conditions i'll probably do 10 of those and then stack them uh, afterwards for noise reduction and blend them in with the foreground so pretty standard stuff if you got this far thanks very much indeed for watching um, it's been quite an arduous evening I would say. One of the toughest nightscape adventures I've had. Not only was it very hot and a really tough climb up with the pack up from uh, the village earlier, um, the terrain around here is really tough going. You've got to have your wits about you so you don't slip on these rocks um, and it's been as you probably saw very very hot throughout but it was lovely having a bit of a dip in here to cool off so I feel a lot better now. Um, thanks very much indeed for joining. Um, if you like this sort of thing, please do give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And the best way you can support the channel is by leaving a comment on this video as well. So until the next Nightscape adventure, thank you very much indeed and I'll see you soon.